All right, post fight, you know, the fight um, fallout is buzzing. You know, there is a buzz over Mayweather Maidana. It was an excellent fight. Uh, I'm just about to rewatch this uh, this fight. I'm dying to rescore it because of uh, all the uh, close scorecards, all of the um, uh, all of the drama over the decision, over the judges that saw it. 116, 112, 117, uh, 113, or sorry, 117, 111, um, I think, uh, I think, uh, different scorecards have different justifications, you know, if you like a certain style, if you think, uh, Floyd Mayweather landed cleaner punches, and, uh, you appreciate that more than Marcus Maidana, um, putting the pressure on, uh, being the aggressor, having Floyd on the ropes, and maybe not landing as, as many punches, you know. Um, I, I, I can understand all types of scorecards in this fight, you know. And some rounds were very hard to judge, and I found myself uh, giving slight edges to Mayweather and Maidana in situations. So, this was a real interesting fight. You could definitely call it a close fight. Even 116-112, that's uh, a close fight. That's two rounds off uh, from a draw, right? That's two rounds off from a draw. So 116-112 um, is how I saw it for Mayweather. But one key issue in this fight, and I, I, I think it's a, a, a very big blunder that Mayweather made, was to have this out for Maidana, to have this excuse um, when he clearly outboxed him in in the second half of the fight, uh, Maidana now has this excuse about the gloves, and Mayweather was overzealous, um, he, he was on a power trip, let's face it, and he just wanted to nullify any opportunity for Maidana to have a puncher's glove, let, let's face it. Facts are facts. Um, that's how it went down. And and you know when, when you holding a, when you're holding a gun to Maidana's head, who who just had a newborn baby, and you're holding a gun to his head, saying you know this fight's not happening if you don't wear these gloves. You think Maidana really gives a fuck? He's gonna say fuck it. You know, <laughs> if I win this fight, I'm gonna be a fucking uh, you know. There's gonna be millions more waiting for me, and um, it, if I can knock him out with whatever glove, you know, I'll be the number one pound for pound guy. So my Donna said, "Fuck it," you know, I'm gonna be a millionaire after this fight, and he he didn't really give a fuck, uh, but he did feel a type of way for sure that he couldn't use his quote unquote favorite gloves, you know, the ones that that he beat down Bronner with. And, uh, you know, this, these are the same gloves that many other fighters have used in the past. Um, and there's an excellent video uh, with the Everlast rep explaining how many different fighters used those gloves uh, in the past uh, on Fight Hype. But main, the, the main point of this video is basically to show that, you know, no person is above criticism. No person. And he, even Mayweather, as excellent of a boxing performance he put on, and although it was a close fight, um, he dug deep, but at, you know, in any point, you should never give your opponent an excuse. And that's what he did. That's what he did. And uh, just to bring out a clear double standard about the gloves, um, we know Manny Pacquiao took a loss uh, early in his career. He took a, a, a couple knockout losses, but then he lost to Eric Morales. And you know, a lot of people want to talk about that as a clear loss. And, and, and let's let's really consider it here because um, Manny Pacquiao. Um, always use the Cleto Reyes, the puncher's glove. However, in that Morales fight, 
he was actually forced to use the winning gloves, which is a, a type of pillowy glove as well, uh, that Eric Morales stipulated uh, to use the winning gloves. And that was May Pacquiao's. Uh, that was his excuse as well. That was his out. And, and you look what happened in a rematch. May Pacquiao fucked Morales up in the second fight and knocked him out. So there is some a case to be made about this. There is an argument that you know gloves can make a difference, and Mayweather should not have let uh, you know this excuse to be uh, funneled throughout the media in the aftermath of this fight. And you could you could tell he's he's a uh, he's taken it a type of way where he's offended by people bringing up the gloves <laughs> he's li you can tell because his his excuse is bullshit <laughs> it is it is this is boxing this is the hurt business you know and, and when you have an approved type of glove and you want to be the arbiter on you know no you can't wear this type of glove it really makes you look like an ass it makes you look like a total ass and it, it, it's really uncalled for, you know. It, it's it's just as bad as having a catchweight and giving that guy an out. Okay, well, it was a catchweight. That's why we lost, you know. It's just one of these things that Mayweather did not have to do, and he's gonna have to hear about it for the rest of this post-fight aftermath. And maybe down the line, if a rematch doesn't happen, it's gonna be for the rest of his career. So. Let me know what you guys think. Again, the Manny Pacquiao example is one example. I'm sure there are others. Uh, but let me know what you guys think.